Hi friends, welcome to day three of the five in five challenge. I'm so glad that you've made it halfway. I know that five minutes doesn't sound like much and yet here you are showing up. I'm proud of you. Today's practice is designed to help you pause and slow down. So bring yourself to a child's pose and let's get started. Bring your big toes together and your knees wide, sending your hips back toward your heels. And you can make a pile with your hands or fists to rest your forehead down. Or you could also extend your arms forward if you rather. Take a moment to maybe sway a little side to side. Inhale and exhale. Doesn't matter what you had before. Doesn't matter what comes after. Allow yourself to actually feel like you're pressing pause. Giving yourself the space to be right here just for a few minutes. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale, lift your forehead up and extend your arms forwards if they're not already there. And then walk your hands any amount toward the left, placing your right hand on top of the left and then let yourself relax down again. Breathe in. Breathe out. Notice the expansion in the right side body. One more inhale. And exhale. Coming back through center and then take your hands all the way to the right or as far to the right as you want. Left hand plants on top of the right to find a little bit more depth if you want to. And then relax your forehead down. One more, breathe in. And breathe out. Lengthen your arms forward once again. And on your next inhalation, start to slowly press yourself up into a tabletop. Move your hips side to side, breathe in. Breathe out. Notice if your mind is reeling or wandering away, come back to this moment. We're not doing anything too complicated. So let yourself be present. Keep your hips stacked over your knees, walk your hands forward, and allow your forehead to come down toward the floor, your chest to melt. And notice here, if you want a little bit more softness on the shoulders, that you can take your hands a little bit wider. If you want more depth, you can take your chin to the floor instead. One more breath. And then slowly lifting yourself up, shifting forward and coming down to your abdomen for a moment. Make a pillow with your hands, breathe in. Breathe out, relax your body toward the earth. Bring your hands underneath your shoulders and on your inhalation, slowly lift yourself up and wiggle yourself from side to side. This doesn't have to look like anything in particular. The idea is just to move. Breathe in, breathe out. Press yourself to a tabletop, shift your weight a little bit toward the left, and on your inhalation, bring your right hand to your hip and open to the right or reach it up. And as you exhale, thread your right arm under the left and take your shoulder and your ear toward the floor. Left hand can stay in front of your face or stretch forward. Breathe in. Breathe out to soften. Let your breath slow down. One more. Inhale. Exhale. Left hand in front of your face, press up, inhale, right hand lifts up. Exhale, right hand to the floor, shift your weight a little to the right as you come back to your tabletop. And on your inhalation, take your left arm up, reach it high. Exhale, thread it under the right, take your shoulder and your ear toward the ground and maybe stretch your right arm overhead. Where can you soften a little bit? One more breath. Press your right hand in front of you. Inhale, lift your left arm all the way up. And on your exhalation, bring it to the floor and start to bring yourself to lie on your back. Hug your knees into your chest for a moment. Maybe move a little side to side. And then open your arms out to the side as you place your feet on the floor. And you could stay here or bring your arms next to the body with the palms down. And on your inhalation, lift your hips up, opening the front body. One more breath, inhale. And on your exhalation, soften your hips down. Take your arms to the sides like a T or overhead and allow both knees to surrender toward the left. Consider that if you keep them away from you, maybe it gets a little bit more into the hips. If you take them higher up toward your shoulder, maybe you're getting a little bit more into the spine. So whatever works for you. One more breath. And then back through center as you inhale. 
And as you exhale, move your hips to the left. Allow your knees to surrender to the right. Take a moment to adjust. And breathe. Slowly bring yourself back to center. And for the last few minutes of this break, I invite you to either bring the soles of your feet together and allow your knees to draw open as you stay lying down. Or maybe you give yourself a moment to come back up to a seated position. It's whatever allows you to be more present now. Soften your gaze or close your eyes and rest one hand to your abdomen and one hand to your heart. Taking a moment of gratitude for all the hard work that you do the one that's seen and the one that goes unseen, the one that you give yourself credit for and the one that you don't. So you deserve this break. Breathe in. Breathe out. Release your hands, open your eyes, sit up if you're lying down. And I hope that you enjoyed day three and that you feel a little bit more present. Thank you for taking a break. You will thank yourself for it later. I will see you tomorrow for day four. Until then, be well.